Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change your default keyboard. But before I do that, check this out. Okay everyone, so in this video, yes, I'm gonna show you how to change your default Samsung keyboard on your Galaxy Note 9. If you don't know how to do it, definitely stay tuned. It's pretty easy to do. First thing you want to do is download your favorite keyboard from the Play Store. If you don't have a favorite, just type in keyboards and a ton of them will come up. Some that I use is SwiftKey and Gboard. I use Gboard a lot and SwiftKey. Samsung has their own keyboard in here. It's actually pretty decent. Mine is themed with the uh, theme that I'm using, so... That's why it's black, but you definitely have different options in there if you want to change the theme anyway. But Gboard and SwiftKey is the ones I use. If you use a different one, let me know in the comments. I like to check them out. But the way you do it, download it. Then you want to go into settings really quick. Go all the way down to general management. The first thing you need to do is make sure your keyboards are active. So you go to language and input. On-screen keyboards. And right here, you can see that I don't have anything activated yet. So if you hit plus minus, it brings up the ones I have downloaded. So I'm going to say OK. And then if you go back, then you have all your choices there. So if you go all the way back here, now you can go to on. Now you can go to default keyboard. And it gives you options of changing which one you want. So I'm going to do Gboard. And then if you go back, go back into an app. And now I have Gboard. Bam, there you go. And you can actually, if you want to change your keyboard while you're typing, if you don't like it, hit the little icon at the bottom. And then I can go into Swift Key. And now I'm in Swift Key. So you hit that little button. If I want to go to Samsung, bam, that's actually pretty good if you get bored with one keyboard. But I'm going to go back to, not voice, go back to Gboard. Now Gboard and each app has its own type of settings. So if you go back into here and you go back to the keyboards. If I go into Gboard, I have all these settings I can play with. If I want to change the theme on Gboard, bam, I can change it to anything I want. So if I click on here, you can even change if you want to outline. So that's pretty cool and pretty quick, easy to do. So that was just a quick tutorial on how to change your default keyboard on your Galaxy Note 9. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so for more coverage on the Galaxy Note 9. And until next time, peace. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day now.